Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're making a requested video, homemade ramen noodles. My first video was a homemade ramen video, but at that time I didn't make the ramen noodles by myself. And today I want to change that. In this video we are focusing on one element. And that is the unique and springy texture of ramen noodles. And for this we need Kansui water. Kansui water is an alkaline solution that regulates acidity in the progress of dough making. And it's super easy to make. All you gotta do is to spread some baking soda on a baking tray and then give it into the oven at 130 Celsius for 90 minutes and that's it. Please avoid skin contact with the baked baking soda. It is possible that it could irritate your skin. Add 2 tablespoons of baked baking soda and a pinch of salt to 120 milliliters warm water and stir until everything is dissolved. Give all-purpose flour into a bowl and make a little pit. Pour two egg yolks into your bowl. Mix the egg yolk with the flour and pour in your kansui water to the flour. Mix everything roughly. Then give your mixture on your working surface. Knead for 12 minutes your mixture to a smooth homogeneous dough. Without feeling wet or moist. And now maybe some of you ask yourself why I use eggs in a ramen noodle recipes. And of course I have an answer for you. The most ramen noodles don't contain any eggs in their dough. But there are recipes you should use eggs. And let me tell you why. The yolk gives fat to the dough, which helps to create a smoother texture. However, the more yolk you use in your recipes, the more time your dough need to rest. For tonkotsu and shoyu ramen, I would use ramen noodles without eggs. But when you want to make a miso ramen, I would really recommend to try out ramen noodles with egg. Another point would be why I think it's okay to use eggs in a ramen dish. Because ramen is a copy of the Chinese dish, la mi, and in many Chinese noodle and dumpling cookbooks, you want a dough with high protein for your sprinkiness to your noodles. And this is absolutely what you want for your ramen noodles. Wrap your dough into a cling film. When you make ramen noodles without egg, let it rest for 30 minutes. But when you make ramen noodles with egg, let your dough rest up to 1 hour. When a dough rested, make 4 smaller parts out of the dough. So it's easier to process. Now you have two options to make your noodles. The first option is to roll out the dough yourself and cut a pasta by yourself. This made my noodles a little bit thicker, but then they are better for frying in my opinion. Dust your noodles with some cornstarch. And so the other option is to use a noodle machine. Attach your noodle machine on your working surface. Give your dough through the machine on low settings. It will start to make an oblong shape. And one way to avoid this is to fold the top third down and the bottom third over that. And then give it for another round through the machine. I won't use any more flour because the dough is already pretty solid or hard. You can see that the machine really has to work. Pass the dough through the machine up to level 4. Now cut the dough about 2 mm thick using the cutting attachment. Sprinkle your ramen noodles with some cornstarch. As a result, we get some pretty nice ramen noodles.
The ram noodles are boiled in boiling water for 50 seconds. Due the normally very hot probe, the noodles continue to cook in the probe. And so, if you cook the noodles longer, they will become too soft. If you want some ram recipes, I would recommend my first video, in which we also make a delicious char support. And if you want to see what happens to these delicious ram noodles, I have two wonderful and easy ram recipes for you. And they are uploaded in the next days. When they are already online, I will link them for you here. I hope you had a great day and I see you next time. Bye!